Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet heart granny square. Now this is a solid version of the crochet granny square. So you will not have much gaps or holes. You'll have the gaps only at the four corners. Now you can make this granny square much more bigger or keep it smaller. So depending on the project that you want to use your granny square, you can make it big or small. This I have made it up to six rounds. Uh, now if you want to make it bigger, I have explained it in the tutorial how to uh, add more rounds to it. You can also make it smaller. So as I said, this is six round, but in order to make the heart into a square, uh, you will go, you will need to go at least up till round four. So two rounds for the heart and two rounds to convert the heart into a square. So you can make a small uh, square also with the same pattern. Uh, and definitely you can use this to make it into a crochet blanket or bags, sweaters, cardigans, or whatever is your project, you can definitely include this square in that. Now, uh, the heart that we are kept in the center, uh, I have already done a tutorial for this heart. I had used the same heart pattern to make it into a padded 3D heart. So it's more like the amigurumi version of it. So you can use it as a keychain or maybe as a pin cushion. So I have linked the tutorial for that in the description box. If you're interested, do check that out. Now for this tutorial here, uh, when it comes to the materials, you can use any weight yarn. Uh, for my project here, I have used 100% acrylic yarn. This is a medium four weight yarn. And with that, I have used a size edge or a 5 mm crochet hook. Now you can use any weight yarn. You just have to go with the recommended hook size for it. And for this particular tutorial, uh, you will be using almost all of the basic stitches in crochet. So if you are a beginner or if you want some more help with the basic stitches, you can check the link in the description box. I have a very detailed tutorial on all the basic stitches that you would require in crochet. So if you're interested, do check that up as well. So let's start with the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern with a magic circle and this is how I like to make the magic circle. You take the yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. So this here is your magic circle. Now if you want some more help with the magic circle, I have a very detailed tutorial on that. So I have put the link in the description box. Okay. So once you have your magic circle, make two chain stitch, chain two, one and two. Now, if you really find magic circle to be very difficult, uh, what you can do is you can make four chain stitch and slip stitch into the first chain stitch. So that will also create a circle and you can work in that. Okay, so we we'll start round one. So we have already made a magic circle and two chain stitch. And when you do the two chain stitch, try to keep it a bit loose because once you finish round one, you will be working round two from this chain one. So try to keep the two chain stitch loose. Okay. Once you make two chain stitch, we will put three triple crochet into the magic circle. So we'll make the triple crochet. For a triple crochet, you have to yarn over two times. Insert your hook into the magic circle. Now pull up a loop. Now if you see, you will have a total of four loops. Yarn over, pull to the first two loop. Again, yarn over, pull to the next two. Yarn over, pull to the last two. So this is our first triple crochet. I'm going to put two more triple crochet. So we have to start with three triple crochet. So this is my second triple crochet. I'll make one more triple crochet. Okay. So we have made so far chain two and then three triple crochet into the magic circle like this. After this, put four double crochet into the magic circle. For a double crochet yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over puts the first two, yarn over puts the next two. So this is one double crochet. I should make four. So one second, didn't do it. So this is my second double crochet two. Another one, three, and I'll put one more, four. So here I have put four double crochet into the magic circle. I'll just try to just close it a little bit. I'm not closing it completely. Okay, now I have put four double crochet 
Next, I'm going to put just one triple crochet. So yarn over two times and then make your triple crochet, just one. Now this one triple crochet will be the center of our heart, uh, the center tip. <coughs> and we are just going to repeat the same in the reverse direction, okay? So once you put one triple crochet, put four double crochet this time. So make four double crochet, one, two, three, and one more we'll put four, okay? So here we have put four double crochet. Next put three triple crochet. So triple, triple crochet you have to yarn over two times and then complete your triple crochet. This is one. This is my second triple crochet, two, and one last, three. Okay, so here I have put three triple crochet into the magic circle. Once you do that, make two chain stitch. Chain two, one and two. Now go back into the magic circle and slip stitch. So just insert your hook and make a slip stitch. So I'll just show you how to do a slip stitch. So we have made chain two. So we are making a slip stitch. Just insert your hook through the magic circle. Now pull your working yarn through these loops. So just pull your yarn through the center as well as the last loop that is there. So that will complete your slip stitch. So this is end of round one. Now if you just pull on the magic circle, you can close it off completely. But I prefer to close it once I'm done with round two. Okay. So round one is done you have got a small little heart applique we will move on to round two now for round two we are going to start with a single crochet and the first single crochet will go in the chain two so remember we have started with two chain stitches this is one and this is two so i'm going to put my yeah, uh, hook into the first chain stitch uh, try to take just one loop and make your first single crochet one and go to the next chain stitch and make your second single crochet one single crochet each in the chain two that we have made all right next what we will do is into the next stitch we are going to put two half double crochet so yarn over for a half double crochet and insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three loops this is one half double crochet and in the same stitch make another half double crochet so we are putting two half double crochet in the same stitch now come to the next stitch here in this stitch put three double crochet so into the next stitch i'm going to put three double crochet this is one in the same stitch make your second double crochet and one more double crochet in the same stitch so we have put three double crochet in the same stitch now come to your next stitch here put two half double crochet so in the same stitch i'm going to put two half double crochet one and two okay once you're done with this in the next four stitches you just put one half double crochet each so i'm going to put one half double crochet in the next four stitches this is one this here is my second half double crochet two in the next stitch also just one half double crochet three and I'll put one more four okay so here I've put four half double crochets that is one half double crochet four stitches now we have come to the very center okay so the next stitch will be the center so in that stitch in the center stitch you will make one half double crochet then a double crochet and one half double crochet so in the center stitch we have put one half double crochet a double crochet and a half double crochet three stitches are going into the center now at this point if you are a beginner what you can do is you can mark the very center so we have put half double crochet double crochet and a half double crochet so i'm just going to mark my center stitch which is the double crochet okay so three stitches we have made just mark your center stitch now this is very easy to identify the center stitch but if you are a beginner just mark it we might need it when we start the third round okay 
so i have marked the center stitch now i'm going to repeat the same thing on this side all right so once you are done with the center stitch in the next four stitches just put one half double crochet each so this is one in the second stitch just one half double crochet in the third again one half double crochet in the fourth one half double crochet so in four stitches i have put one half double crochet each in the next stitch put two half double crochet so one and in the same stitch make another half double crochet come to your next stitch here this time put three double crochet so i'm putting three double crochet in the same stitch one two and one more three in the next stitch put two half double crochet so here in the next stitch i'm putting two half double crochet like this all right now if you see this is the last two chain stitches so in these two just put one single crochet each so i'm just going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches i'm just taking a loop because if you do take the v it might create a bigger gap so i'm just taking my hook through the chain just one loop and making one single crochet each in these two stitches so this is the end of round two now to completely finish off this i'm going into the very center and i'll just slip stitch like this okay so that completes round two at this point you can cut your yarn off so i'll just cut my yarn here like this now it sorry i just took it off but i know where to get it so at this point you can completely close off your magic circle like this and it is done round two is done and i had made a amigurumi with this thing that i had mentioned earlier so you make two of this and attach it and stuff it in you get a nice uh, puffed heart and you can use it as a keychain as well okay now this is done round two is done now we'll make it into a square so take your white color or any other color that you want to use so here i have got my white color yarn and i'll be using this to make round three we'll start this off by making a slip knot so make your slip knot first so this here is my slip knot and we are going to attach it into the tip of the heart so if you still have your stitch marker just go there and attach it if you do not have it what you can do is you can just find the very tip so if you split this open like this you can see there are three stitches so this is the center you have a half double crochet a double crochet and a half double crochet so insert your hook into the very center which will be your double crochet stitch so i'm going to attach it with the help of a slip stitch and when you're doing this i will be working round three in the back loops only so if you see this is a v you have a front loop and you have a back loop i'll be working in the back loop uh, so as to have a raised heart so if you see here in this one you can see the outline of the heart quite defined it is because these are the front loops the unworked stitches so it makes for a nice outline so i'll be working only in the back loop and the front loop will give the outline for it okay so find your center stitch and slip stitch it One second. and i'm going to attach it only in the back loop so this is my center stitch only through the back loop i'm going to attach it like this so i'm starting with a slip stitch in the next stitch everything will be worked in the back loop in the next stitch i'm going to make a single crochet so make a single crochet here in the next stitch make a half double crochet into the next stitch make a double crochet and then make a triple crochet so i have put a slip stitch a single crochet half double crochet double crochet and a triple crochet all worked in the back loop like this all right once you're done with the triple crochet make chain two one two and this will be 
corner so whenever you're putting chain two that will become a corner so this is our first corner now once you do that come to your next stitch and make two double crochet this time so i'm going to put two double crochet in the same stitch so this is one and in the same stitch make another double crochet two so here i have got two double crochet in the next stitch make a half double crochet just one half double crochet in the next put two single crochet so here i'm going to put two single crochet one and two in the next two stitches just put one single crochet each so i'm just going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches in the next stitch this time put two single crochet so i'm going to put two single crochet one and in the same stitch another one once two single crochet is made make two chain stitch chain two one two and this will be our second corner now once you make two chain stitch come to this side so we'll start with a double crochet so only in the back loop make a double crochet first so make your double crochet then make a half double crochet like this in the next two stitches make one single crochet each so one single crochet here and one single crochet into the next stitch like this now we have reached the very center and you when you reach the very center make a double crochet so yarn over and then insert your hook and go to the very center pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two then the next two so here i have made a double crochet now this here is the center now once you finish your double crochet we'll do the exact same thing on the reverse side so in the first two stitches we are going to put one single crochet each now the first single crochet will be like kind of behind this so you might have to find the first stitch it will be almost behind the double crochet that we have made so there you make a single crochet just one single crochet come to your next stitch here again make just one single crochet in the next stitch make a half double crochet and then in the next stitch make a double crochet okay once that is done make two chain stitch chain two so this will be our third corner once chain two is done in the next stitch put two single crochet so in the next stitch i'm going to put two single crochet and when you're doing this try to grab the back loop as well as see this is a v you have a front loop you have a back loop and there is another loop that is going behind this so try to grab that also otherwise the when you finish this off because of the corner stretch this stretch might be a bit too much so i've taken two stitches both the back loop and the loop that is behind it to make two single crochet once that is done in the next two stitches make one single crochet each from here you can just take just the back loop that is fine like this in the next stitch put two single crochet so here we have put two single crochet then one single crochet one single crochet in the next stitch i'm making two single crochet one and two then make a half double crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch put two double crochet so here i'm putting two double crochet one and two once you put two double crochet make chain two one two this will be a fourth corner after that make a triple crochet so yarn over two times make a triple crochet like this then a double crochet then a half double crochet and then a single crochet into the very last stitch like this so that completes round three and in order to finish off this we had started with a slip stitch go there and slip stitch on top of it to join so that will finish round three it is not a perfect square if you just tug on these four ends just taking the shape of it by the next round 
it will be completely like a square okay so this is how this looks so far we will start round four now round four is very very simple you are just going to put one double crochet in all of these stitches that are there and once you reach the corner you will put two double crochet chain two two double crochet that's it so we'll start with three chain stitch one two three this three chain stitch will be counted as a double crochet so first stitch is done come to your next stitch that is you have to just go ahead and put a double crochet till you reach the corner so here i'm going to put a double crochet one two three and four okay so here i have put four double crochet and there was the starting chain three now we have reached the corner so we had just four stitches on top of it i have put one double crochet each once you reach the corner in the chain two space make two double crochet one and two two double crochet then make two chain stitch go back in the same stitch and again put two double crochet so one and two all right so here we have completed the corner two double crochet chain two two double crochet now just go ahead and make one double crochet in all of these stitches so there will be total of one two three four five six seven eight nine then we have a total of nine stitches so put one double crochet in each of these stitches so the starting one do not forget it might be hidden because of the corner so don't miss out on that make a double crochet in each of these stitches and once you reach the corner you will again put two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then you can go ahead and continue that so in all the sides you will have a total of nine double crochets okay so i have almost reached the very end i have a few more stitches so this one here a double crochet and one more double crochet before i reach the corner now if you count you can just you can count from here not the chain ignore the chain two for the corner not from here if you count you'll get one two three four five six seven eight nine nine stitches here uh, without counting the corner two stitches so once that is done come to your corner stitch make two double crochet one two chain two and again go back into the corner and again put two double crochet so in every corner you are going to put two double crochet chain two and two double crochet like this once that is done make a double crochet in all of these stitches that includes this one also the center double crochet so you'll be putting nine double crochet here and when you reach the corner you again put two double crochet chain two two double crochet complete nine double crochet here complete the corner and come back and we will finish off this round so i'll just complete that one so here i'm almost at the end of this round i have a few more stitches left so i thought of doing that with you so i have completed the last corner and i'll be putting last few double crochets so in order to finish this i have to put four more double crochet this is one this is two then three and one more four so here i have put four double crochet and we have reached the starting three chain stitch now the three chain stitch as i said earlier will be treated as our first double crochet so in order to finish off this round you can just go ahead and slip stitch on the third chain of your chain three so that finishes off round four notice it might not be like the perfect square so what you can do is you can just pull on the four corners and just straighten this out so you get a nice square now if you want you can stop right here or you can add a few more rounds it's all the same you're just going to repeat round four so every round if you want to repeat it more you'll start with chain three and then you will be putting one double crochet on top of each of these stitches and when you reach the corners you will put two double crochet chain two two double crochet exactly 
like the one that we had done earlier. So if you see round four, you would have put nine double crochet and two double crochet in this corner, two double crochet in this corner. So once you finish round four, you will have a total of 13 double crochet in one side. So here 13 double crochet, here 13, 13, 13, like that the square will be formed. So in the next stitch what you'll do is, uh, next round what you'll do is you'll put 13 double crochet in all of these. Apart from that there will be the corner 2 double crochet and corner 2 double crochet. So the 13 will go up to 17 double crochet. Okay. So I'll just start off that with you. If you want you can stop here or you can add more rounds. So every round we'll be starting with 3 chain stitch. Okay. This will be treated as our first double crochet. Then we'll just go ahead and make a double crochet in the remaining stitches. And it's the same, when you reach the corner, you will put two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So I'll just do that. So I'm just putting one double crochet in each of these stitches here. Right? And then when you reach the corner, you put two double crochet, one, two. Then you make chain two. 2 double crochet, 2 chain stitch and go back into the corner and again put 2 double crochet, 1 and 2. Then continue making double crochet over the remaining stitches. Just don't, uh, just make sure that you don't miss the first stitch. It might just get covered because of the corner stitches. So I'll just complete the same pattern and then join you. So here I have completed two more rounds of the double crochets. I've just changed the color for the last round just to highlight the square better. And my square is ready. Now this has not been blocked but it still holds the shape. I just tugged on the four uh, corners to make it the shape of a square. Now if you want it to be like a perfect square, just block it and it will hold the shape perfectly. But this is what you get without blocking. Now it also depends on the type of fiber you use, your tension and all of that. So maybe or maybe you might need a little bit of blocking uh, if you want that perfect looking granny square. So yeah, that was the tutorial on how to do the heart granny square. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Now, if you liked it, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. If you are looking for other granny square patterns, I do have a playlist. So I'll put the link in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up here. So that's it for today's tutorial. See you now.